Thanks again, April, I think. There are a number of referenda on November's ballot. Rhode Islanders will be asked to pass on whether or not casino gambling should be allowed in Tiverton. That's question one. We will be asked to approve a bevy of bonds to increase the public debt for purposes ranging from the ridiculous to the sublime. Question two on November's ballot, though, is the single opportunity we have this year to amend our state constitution. The language we will be asked to approve on November 8th is intended to fix the problem cited as the reason ex-Senate President Bill Irons got out from under the State Ethics Commission in 2009. To recap, the State Ethics Commission was created during the Constitutional Convention of 1984. It was intended to oversee and sanction the behavior of all state elected officials and all state workers to keep them from using their offices to promote or enrich themselves personally. The system worked just fine for 15 years until Mr. Irons argued that the speech of elected legislators during session of the House and Senate was protected to the point of excluding them from commission oversight. Some regarded that as absolutely tortured legal reasoning. Others felt that the fix was in. Whatever you think, sitting legislators got a get-out-of-jail-free card, courtesy of the Senate's first president. Now the language for two parts of the state's constitution, which is proposed by the referendum, will close that loophole. According to proponents, passage will bring the things back to what the 84 Constitutional Convention intended. As you will hear in our upcoming interview with John Marion, Executive Director of Common Cause of Rhode Island, that good government group is pushing hard for passage of this fix. In fact, in the next few days, you may be hearing private polling results that strongly indicate the measure will be approved. Common Sense approves of this referendum initiative and will also approve of its passage. Citizens of the Ocean State have long suffered with the perception that the insiders live by different rules than the rest of us. Vote yes on question two to begin to turn that inequity around. April?